Good morning Stockfordians, today is vlog number two and I'll be taking you to the Makers Market in Stockport and I'll be showing you some lovely architecture and other places of interest and I'm just going to go on a bit of a walk and get a bit lost, so let's go. Hello Stockfordians, um, I'm in Stockport, the coolest place to be right? Uh, I'm just walking down the A6, most of you all know the iconic landmark behind me, McDonald's, but if you didn't, I'm going to show you some others, okay? Uh, there across the road we have the Hat Museum, and we're going to do a lesson all about the textiles industry, and that really put Stockport on the map, and it really expanded the town, brought jobs, people, and infrastructure, which I'll explain in much more detail, but the Hat Museum itself is a little bit of a landmark as in people recognize it when they're coming into Stockport on uh, the train by car and even even from the air even from planes when they are landing you can see the hat museum so that's one of the landmarks i just walked past Stockport central library it's beautiful you can't really see from here the oh sorry people you can't really see here the extent to which it kind of looms over the street, but it's kind of gorgeous. Let me uh, cross the road and see if I can uh, get above. Look at that. That's really nice. I'm not going to lie, stop audience. I've no idea where I am. I've gone off of the A6 with the famous McDonald's and other buildings of interest. And I'm just having a little wonder. I feel like I am near the plaza because I've been to the plaza to see some shows and that's um, one of the places I know. Got some lovely buildings, but this one caught my eye. Now, what is it? It's red brick, so it's what, at least 100 years old. It's got stained glass windows. Any hands up, any guesses yet? What is it? That roof's very interesting. It looks like there's something missing off of the top. Uh, a little bit boarded up, so maybe it needs a little bit of love and uh, reparations there. Have you guessed what it is yet? It looks like a long building, like you could walk along uh, something towards the end. Looks like it is protected and special. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's a church and we're going to have a look at it. It's called the Parish Church of St. Peter. Oh my goodness me, I was so wrong with it being over 100 years old. It's over 240 years old, 230 years old. AD 1768. That's nice and old. It's a lovely old building. Okay, chicos, this is a good, important uh, geographical feature for anybody like me lost in a place that they're not used to. Um, street signs. It tells you where things are and the right direction to go. So I think I want the shops. I don't know actually. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Marketplace. Yes, I want the marketplace. So I'm going to head over that way. Okay, chicos, I've found the place I want to be. I can see some market stalls in the distance, which means I'm about to go and um, meet a load of artists and creators and bakers and cooks and people who create and make wonderful things here in Stockport. And they are here to sell it to you lovely people and me myself as well. Um, I feel like I'm in the middle of Stockport. I don't technically know. Um, but it's pedestrianised. Now, pedestrianised means it's for pedestrians, people who walk, and not necessarily for cars, which means it's much safer. So that's one of the brilliant things about busy places like cities and towns when they do that, um, because it keeps us safe so we can enjoy the things that we want to enjoy. And I'm getting very distracted because of some lovely, lovely things. I feel like I'm amongst the treetops. So look at this. Not treetops. House, houses, rooftops, rooftops, there we go. This feels a bit London-y for me, so this is quite nice. And over here, really nice bridge, actually, both sides is nice, but I'm gonna go over there as well. Um, lovely bridge, lovely jubbly. I like this bridge. Look at this, gorgeous, gorgeous building, market hall. Guys, the architecture here is gorgeous. I love these buildings. What detail, look at that. That's amazing. What a beautiful Saturday. I'm very impressed. Oh, chocolate, let me go buy some stuff.
Hello, so I'm just looking at a few stalls for some wonderful art for our display and I realised that everything here shows us the wonderful landmarks of Stockport, which is what I've just been looking at. And I'm about to meet the artist, say hello. hello. <laughs> Hiya. So what medium do you use when you're creating your art? So I paint with acrylics, I paint on canvas, canvas board or canvas paper, and then I get them printed off and get them all framed up and made into cards and coasters and prints. Fantastic. And is it really special being able to sell people of Stockport their local landmarks and watch them, you know, be really happy about Absolutely, that? Absolutely, because people of Stockport are really, really proud of where they come from. Oh, amazing. And there's so much lovely old heritage to yes. Stockport. Yes. Little secret places. Yes. So I try and find all of those. Oh, wow. Well, so I don't really know much about Stockport because I teach here, but I don't really hang out here. Yeah. So can you tell me your favourite secret place to go to today? One of the secret places, and I'm not sure whether it's open today, <laughs> but just behind me is Stockport's Dungeon. Dungeons? Woo. Yeah. Okay. So that's worth a visit. That's fantastic. And how many children do you reckon I could put in the dungeon? Um, how big's the class? 30. <laughs> might be a bit cosy, <laughs> but I bet you could get them all in. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's Thank right. you. Chico's our basic friends. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, please. Look at all of these little guys. Aren't they fantastic? Oh. Okay, back to the architecture. This is the end of the market hall and I am going to find out for you the history behind it. The date is 1861 on the side, so I'll be really interested to know what the specialty things were. In fact, there's a blue plaque. Let's go look, let's go. It says here, market charter granted 1260. Oh my goodness me, it's over, uh, well, just under 800 years ago. By Prince Edward, Earl of Chester, the Hen Market Cheese Hall opened 1852. Glasgow Market opened 1862. So, Hen Market brackets Cheese Hall. So, why is it called a Cheese Hall if it was a Hen Market? Um, I will have to do some research for you, or maybe you can do it for me. Uh, but I was interested in this church as well. How beautiful is this? Stockport, such a cool place to live. Look at that gorgeous church. I don't know what it's called. Um, let's find out. Stockport Parish Church, there you go, easy. St. Mar St. Mary's, there we go, excuse me, St. Mary's in the marketplace. And it's not open, um, which is absolutely fine because we don't want, you know, crowding and tourism really for a place of worship in, the, in a pandemic. Just looking at these buildings, I'm so impressed. What a wonderful, wonderful place to be, to live, and to visit. Thank you. Something has caught my eye. This signage is beautiful. Two under bank. Should we go on a little adventure? Should we see what it is? Now, like any uh, true vlogger, I'm going to do, what is it called, a haul or unboxing or, you know when you show what you've been, what you've got from your shopping? Let's do that. So I'm going to show you what I got from the Stockport Makers Market. I'm not going to get it out because it's um, a little bit delicate, but I've got a really cool cactus with an orangey bit on top. I think, I've never seen a cactus like it and it's beautiful in its own little vase. Um, and the rest is art. So I got a baby's arm and a little, uh, I don't even know what you're called. But they're going to be ornaments in my house and they're going to look epic. This for the display. Day. 
I also got this beautiful line drawing for the, uh, for the display as well. There's the Market Hall, this is Mary's Church as well. And I got this as a present for Miss Swan. Um, I got this as well, which is beautiful. Lots of Stockport, land, Stock, Stockport landmarks. Fantastic. Oof. Ready for this. I got chocolate bars, glittery. And then I got really big chocolate bars that are going to last me all day. Cookie Monster. Uh, present for Mrs. Greenaway. Cause she gave me a cupcake on uh, Friday. Get her there. It's packaged so it's safe to give away. And a present for Mrs. Finnegan. Because um, it's her birthday. Her birthday in a couple of days, so I thought I got a nice present. So I got some wonderful, wonderful things from the um, Maker's Market. And the best bit for me, personally, is seeing all of these things spread out in the sunshine, looking, in, um, looking at the smiling faces and smiling back, or the smiling eyes and the masks and smiling back with my eyes, um, and meeting and talking to all the artists and having just a wonderful time talking to some very talented, beautiful, beautiful people of Stockport. I'll see you again soon.